All right, folks, how are you this evening? So we got some mixed preferences mm. <laughs> on the length of my videos. Some say short, some say long. So, okay, well, we'll make some long ones and we'll make some short ones. So what are we up to today? Well, it rained all day again. So we went to town and we had to get a few things. And we picked up another Hascap berry. I don't know if you folks are familiar with Hascaps. I think we showed them earlier. This is one Hascap berry plant we got. And uh, we planted it here. And then we bought this one as well, but this one died. I'm not going to pull it out just, see this here is a, this here is a stalk here, but it's, it's still kind of rubbery, but I'm hoping that it will come back from the roots in the spring. You know, I kind of doubt it, but. Anyways, we have an indigo gem that survived. This was a tundra, I think, correct? What is this one here? It was here? a tundra. Yes, Hascap tundra. Indigo, and this one here is a... Boreal. Boreal. Ah, you remember that, good, good memory. So yeah, so we're gonna plant that out here. You want a few plants here anyway, so. Yeah. You know. Anyways, and we've been thinking about different different fruit trees. And if you look around, you can see what we have wandering around the yard now. This is what, their second or third day out? Uh, it's their second day out. I kept them in yesterday because there was a storm yeah. and I didn't know how they would be. But they're getting long. You see they're, they're wandering around over here picking out, picking up clover. They kind of look like something off Jurassic Park. <laughs> and even make a noise, even make noise. Like that one on the left, it's got a, it's got a bad leg, but uh, it's, it, a yeah, few of them had bad legs, but anyways. So I think, um, how far did I go here with these? I went to, one, two, three, seven. Okay, so, uh, let me see here, so. Um, about here, what do you figure, Heather? Sure. Sounds good to me. Looks good. I don't know how close they're supposed to be, but if they, but I do want enough room to get a, a lawnmower in around them, though. Eh? And um, well, I'm guessing this looks okay. <laughs> I don't like going too far either, in case I hit the tile. Although that tile I put in here, I think was down, down fairly deep. I should have known that one was dead too when we first got it because didn't look like the other plant, but I just thought because it was a different type. I figured that's why it looked funny. And these turkeys love people, let me tell you. Look at this, already trying to eat that berry plant. What <laughs> are like, you what doing? What did you bring me? You shouldn't have. You guys are too kind. <laughs> <laughs> the inside is it not yeah that's okay you're okay yeah yeah okay what's the best way to get these out of here i'm guessing just, just pulling it out yeah. how root bound is it not too bad eh? like that how's that tickle you good I should turn it this way though, right? It seemed to be growing this way. Give that a shot. Think this one will survive? I think so. The other one did really well. The only one that didn't do good was the one that was, the one that was basically dead just a it. stick and the rest of it was a weed that we didn't realize. Yeah. Because it kind of looked like a tree. Oh, sorry, yeah, like a, a bush right. or whatever. We do have pretty good soil here. And I'm hoping it's the kind of soil that you like. Now, if you folks, if you've tried Hascap berries, let us know what they're like. For those of you who have tried it. So, if you don't mind, I like reading comments. We both love reading the comments. So, if you don't mind, leave, leave in the comment what you think of the taste of these Hascap berries, if you've ever tried them. And if you've never heard of them, Check them out. I believe they grow in 
Siberia, Russia, and northern Japan, right? I think they're native to there, some of them. Yeah. Cold climates. Yeah. They can withstand, like, uh, a lot of cold, so... So they should do good here. They should. <laughs> yeah, you always end up, of course, with more dirt when you plant something because you got all that dirt that was in the pot. Oh well. These plants, they don't give them away either, man. They are, oh, they're they are not cheap. But, they're supposed to be good. So this here, oops, I dropped that. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little mound up here. So there we go. That is that planted. Now, another question for you folks. Look at this. I'm gonna stand this up over here, okay? Turn this around the other way. There we go. I want to show you a sunflower we have growing here. Heather has growing here. Here, let me move over here too. Our little lawnmowers are right at it. Okay, this here. Oh, look, it's opened up today. Yeah, I see that. Just since we looked at it this morning, it's starting to open. Yeah. This is the question. Sunflower, look at that. Is that normal for them to have multiple? See, it's got this flower here. It's got another one here starting here, 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 and here. Must be a type, correct? I'm guessing that's a type of sunflower. Normally I've only ever seen them that ends up growing one flower. That one has more than one in, which is kind of weird. So you're probably wondering why there's so much stuff in here. We have onions, sunflowers, corn, watermelon, <laughs> squash, cucumbers. Heather had her seeds in here before I had these built. And the chickens got there and tore a whole bunch of stuff out and she was not sure what grew or not. So she, nothing was coming up. So she planted a few more seeds and then lo and behold, everything started coming up and now she's got a... Like random a, stuff, yeah. Yeah, a mishmash of everything. Tomatoes are doing great, uh, I think for around here. I mean, she's got all kinds of like... And look at the honeybees, they're all over. So many tomatoes as well growing. They're all over. We have... Uh, all kinds here. We've been eating them too off and on, so mm -hmm. that's good. Look at the turkey thing. Anyways, we have company folks. Heather's sister just showed up, so we'll get back to the video in a few minutes. Well, sorry about that folks. That is our video. It uh, just started pouring rain here and that's how much water we got <laughs> in a few minutes. So I don't think we're gonna go out and finish the video. So I think this is about it. Anyways, you folks take care. If it's not raining tomorrow, we do plan on milling some more lumber, hopefully. But uh, we're definitely getting enough water. I'm hoping that the uh, fire ban will be lifted soon. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyways, you all take care. Sorry this is another, sorry this is another short one. We'll talk to you another time. Bye bye. <laughs>